Hi all, I have another amazing game to show you today. Leela against Stockfish, the mighty Stockfish, number one engine in the world. Has been dominating online events recently in its latest like version. So E4 from Leela, the first six ply or half moves are given to both. G6 from Stockfish, D4, Bishop G7. This is modern or a bash territory, distinguished from the Piats because the knight hasn't moved yet. But the Piats and, and these uh, name systems can transpose quite easily into each other once the knight has moved. So knight f6, we have queen d2, stockfish castles kingside, and Leela goes for that exchange to try and weaken the dark squares around the king. Bishop g4, setting up some potential pressure now on d4, trying to eliminate this defender sometimes, and then maybe strike at the central square d4. This is a very, very logical play h4 c5 so the classic recipe is being used here countering a flank attack with a central attack uh, bishop takes f3 has been seen before in an over the board game anton jujaro who's 2550 playing against liu a 2336 maribor 2012 you can see that in the pinned comments that actually ended eventually in a win for white it was a very attacking game with white casting queenside. So we have c5 here instead of the immediate bishop takes f3. Bishop takes g7. King takes after d5. Bishop takes f3 now. Uh, if knight bd7, this is actually a big problem here because of knight h2 from white. And that bishop, this is a very, 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 very strong move indeed. That bishop is a big target. For example, knight e5, we can actually take that. h5 is extremely dangerous, for example, like this. And black could get into huge trouble, basically losing a piece, potentially, like this. So it's important to snap off here to get rid of that liability, it seems. The bishop on g4. g takes, knight bd7. So there's trade-offs here, structural trade-off versus uh, pressure, potentially, against the black king. But there's also this pawn which is making its way to the center. That can later be useful for f4 and maybe e5 later as well. We have cast in queenside, a6. Now knight e2, this lends support for h5 basically because the knight is going to go here and then support h5. Queen c7, bishop h3, knight h5, and now knight g3 here. Uh, so knight d f6. And Leela just tries to get rid of the blockade of the H pawn by challenging the blockade now. Knight F6. And now H5 finally is enabled. We have Rook H8. Here, if instead B5, just to show the dangers, HG, this position with Bishop E6 cutting across escape squares of the king makes Queen H6 even more effective. And this kind of scenario with the h-file is absolutely lethal. In fact, it might be better for white not to be too materialistic, just build up on h7 as this demonstration, as this demo line shows. Yeah, winning a piece of nothing else. So, rook h8. Now, Leela creates uh, a very interesting scenario here. Guess what? Yep. Form pawn. Form pawn is set up. The duality of the form pawn is remarkable. It's not just a middle game asset, it's an end game asset potentially. It's in the short term, it's disconnecting the rooks. We can say goodbye. <laughs> oh dear, goodbye instead of hello, hello. So goodbye to the disconnected rooks. Bishop h3, we have c4. Uh, now queen e3, queen a5, the king comes to protect a2. Queen c5, you might think this is a strange decision because it isn't like getting intuitively after taking e5. That looks dangerous. But let's say black played b5. e5 is even more dangerous, it seems, with this continuation. It's just absolutely uh, very, very bad for black. Let's explore this territory here. Queen c5, for example. Rook takes f6, winning a piece. Let's look at this again. If e6 here instead of ed, queen takes, look at that f6 knight, and here white is putting a lot of pressure 
on black's position and can smash through with bishop takes e6 basically this is absolutely crushing stuff that would be a fine attacking game there in its own right so yes black plays queen c5 a lesser evil move it seems instead of b5 okay so queen c5 we have queen takes c5 yes liberating the e pawn basically doubling black's pawns a4 though first this is very interesting actually very very finessed to play a4 first rook d8 was played if b5 then e5 and then the ability to take on b5 and play bishop d7 is strong so say rook a5 trying to keep control of the b5 square because otherwise maybe bishop b5 if b4 then d6 this is just very very nice for white the pawns are actually weak and easy prey here especially with this rook out of the picture on h8 so rook d8 was played we have a5 fixing down black's pawns a bit king e8 the king wants to get out of the way to unimprison this rook at some point okay b3 this helps activate potentially the white rooks knight d7 was played I mean even further on this b file so if for example c takes then actually rook d3 and white's grabbed the b3 square or a useful square here for example this is very energetic rook play from white which is very undesirable for black so knight d7 was played that's actually snapped off before it does anything useful and now b takes winning a pawn b5 here so at least black's rooks have been activated but now rook d3 check i've taken the pawn rook b3 that rook supports king b2 we have g5 trying to stop f4 if for example king c7 this scenario where f4 is allowed is just very very nice white basically builds up pressure as an example like this so black has to keep things in balance and yeah the, there's some menacing ideas coming up so g5 king c3 so there's still this idea of rook a1 targeting a6 in hand here and also potentially this square for hitting c5 king c7 e5 so that keeps the king out of d6 so any rook a5 later is going to be more effective now uh, rook g6 trying to do something over here king d3 rook a8 rook b2 some shuffling now here just immediately with that rook uh, the rook goes back and now yeah with the big threat of rook a5 a now black play rook b8 we have rook g1 toying with stockfish f4 offering a simplification uh, that has to be really accepted otherwise f5 is nasty so a, a pair of rooks come off and now f3 fixes down the f pawn the king's going to come and pick this pawn up uh, so that happens now rook a6 if g5 that fatally weakens basically the f5 square this would seem pleasant enough in any case a5 would be dropping so uh, this is a very bad end game for black miserable rook and pawn ending so how does Leela increase the advantage here well she does so in a kind of trolling manner actually <laughs> there's a lot of shuffling now okay there was f4 there that's uh now look at this shuffling high level shuffling king comes over here bit of probing testing it is making this a very long rook and pawn ending examination so here rook b1 we have a4 here yeah it's too dangerous it seems to allow uh things like rook b8 and then d6 later it's just too dangerous to take this pawn uh there's also possibilities of rook b5 even even better potentially uh so we have e6 here a3 now rook b3 now this pawn is taken and it's still total torture this rook and pawn ending yep so multiple pawns up now the pawns are crashing through yeah stockfish is helpless in this end game it's just total and 
it's totally winning and Leela knows how to transpose into a winning table base so Stockfish is not going to miraculously escape even if it is looking at 50 million positions a second to try and get a table base draw Leela is with table base as well and yes is able to also potentially now yeah queening if she wants but a bit of torture first <laughs> okay and now classically the giving up back the queen and in fact getting another queen here saying uh aren't these funny rules in this competition to go to the to the better end so yeah both queens come back and eventually this pawn's now taken and then we have yeah the standard routine to corner the king for the checkmate or to checkmate the king okay and in fact the king was cornered on a1 if you enjoyed this game as much as me then uh, please click uh, top left box which should appear shortly to become a member of chessworld.net play the youtubers you can also check the analysis for this and other games from the improved menu learn from the masters click youtube order so is this an end of the era indication coming soon uh, on your network is going to take over the scene in maybe a, a year or less than a year what do you think comments questions like shares subscribes appreciated thanks very much <laughs> oh hi all let's have a look at another amazing game this morning <laughs> Ha 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 ha!